Daniel Fig. Now, you might remember, I uh, brought this to you not too long ago, the, the story of Hannah Colby, who went on an amazing swing dance marathon, 12 hours of dancing in memory of her late husband, Steve Gilmore. And Steve was diagnosed with a brain tumour in August last year and passed away uh, in May. And Hannah, not stopping with fundraising, and joins me in the studio to tell me a bit more about the fundraising we've got planned now. You never stop, do you? <laughs> no, it's a, I think everyone copes with things in, in different ways. And my way of coping with the events of the last year or so, instead of um, hiding in my house and crying into my cornflakes, has been to get out there and try and organise as much as possible and just keep moving. Um, and I don't see that changing over the course of the next few months at all. Oh, amazing. And, and, and particularly with, with, with um, you know, brain tumour research as well. I mean, it's, it's some of the stats around this are so scary, aren't there? I know sort of brain tumours kill more children and adults under the age of 40 than, than any other cancer. And, and actually sort of the amount of work they do to raise awareness of this. I know that they're, they're incredibly important to you, aren't they? Yes, I mean, it has been good in recent times to see more discussion around the subjects of brain tumour research. I mean, the obvious case is Tom Parker, um, the anniversary of his death recently. Um, that brings the subject to the fore again. Um, also, EastEnders have been running a storyline, Lola Pierce, um, where she's been diagnosed with a brain tumour. So it is a, a subject which is having more airtime um, and that's good because it really needs it. I mean, as you say, the statistics are, are terrifying. Brain tumours kill more children and adults under the age of 40 than any other cancer, yet historically only 1% of national funding has actually de been dedicated to research and, and cures, and that's really what needs to, to change. And I mean, Steve must be so proud of you. <laughs> I mean, we had the swing dance marathon and, and now a new fundraiser as well. And and I think you're right. I think sometimes in just those moments where, where it feels like there, there is no hope and it's sad to actually, you know, find the strength to turn that around and turn it into something positive and, and bring so many amazing people around you as well. I mean, it, I, I imagine that support around you has really helped you through this. Oh, absolutely. There is, um, I cannot take credit at all for any of this because I wouldn't be doing it without the, the people around me. I mean, the ones that spring to mind, obviously, Steve's parents, um, Steve's brother, Martin, Adam and Mark, um, the four of us have formed a, what we call the table legs, um, <laughs> which is really about sharing the weight between us and supporting each other. I think that's a lovely analogy. Again, I can't take credit. I think it was Adam that came up with it. Um, <laughs> but between us, we have um, been discussing ways that we can raise awareness, raise funds for brain tumour research, um, and they have really helped me stay positive and look to the future and what we can do to make a difference so the next opportunity then so we, we've done swing dancing and i mean that looked great fun so, so what have we got this time i mean can anyone join in on this one? <laughs> oh, absolutely so what we have done in in conjunction with brain tumor research we have set up a new fundraising initiative which is called band together so it's like a, a it's a mini fundraising group under the brain tumor research umbrella and we will be putting on a series of dancers as you'd expect um gigs um steve was in three bands um which is why the band together logo is his drum kit um and the name is is as it is um so there will be there will be charity gigs there will be dancers um i'm sure events will be popping up left right and center that's the aim anyway and especially now that the, the spring's here there's a feeling of, of hope and positivity i think in in the air and we want to get people out and enjoying themselves because it's I'm, I'm not the kind of person who wants to stand in the street and waggle a bucket under people's noses. I'd rather do something where people can have fun and where we can celebrate the life of somebody amazing by doing things that he really loved and which were really important to him. So that's what the ethos of Band Together is really all about. I mean, music's such a powerful thing, isn't it? I mean, I'm sure there's certain songs even now you just go, oh, gosh, you know, and it just gets to you. And, but sort of be able to bring that music in and always create that safe space with you, your friends, your family, and then sort of also bring other people in that that are affected by this or or just to raise awareness and get people down for a good time i mean it's music has a wonderful a wonderful sense of community doesn't it you sort of you do feel things when music's on but it also has this wonderful healing power at the same time yes it's a, it, music has such a, a resonance um just as powerful as smell actually isn't it it's one of those senses that you just have to hear a, hear something and you're you're back there straight away um and for me um i mean steve loved 80s music his band the aviators that he was in with adam his best friend and martin um they were brilliant um playing with flashing flashing drumsticks and loads of polyester sailor hats you name it they they did it um and one of the difficult things for me was walking around a supermarket and some an 80s song coming on and thinking oh gosh right i'm 
I'm <laughs> about to have a meltdown in the middle of the cereal aisle. Um, and it happened a couple of times, but it's, and it's those firsts really, isn't it? When you hear a song and think, oh, but the idea for me is to, to turn that around and actually to get to the stage where I can listen to those songs and enjoy them and celebrate them and remember how amazing Steve was. And it's it's actually been really lovely because the aviators are back with a bang. Mm. They have a, a guy called Italo who is a brilliant drummer, totally different to, to Steve um, because Steve was irreplaceable, but Italo has his own unique style and, and brilliance and a smile that just covers his whole face. And they've started gigging again and that has been really, really good to see. And I think that's part of the healing process that you're talking uh, that you've been talking mm -hmm. about just playing those songs and instead of feeling the sadness just feeling feeling a different type of emotion a celebration yeah and uh, of course we must talk about the the wonderful hat you've brought in as well because <laughs> i know there is there's wear a hat day coming up as well well uh, yes wear it so wear a hat day was last friday the oh. 31st of march it's an annual event so don't worry you're off the hook now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure i have so one. many hats to pick from as well <laughs> <laughs> this one was bought specially for for the occasion um and i put out a call to my friends on social media to say please even if you can't afford to donate because times are tough for everybody at the moment but please just put on a, a hat tag it wear a hat day for brain tumor research and it was absolutely wonderful to see some of the hats that, that came out and it's again going back to your to the, the subject of support um obviously there's a very close group that are, are always there but just to know that in the wider community there are so many people who are keen to remember Steve, who are keen to keep his memory alive and also support me. That's really what keeps me going. So to everyone who put a hat on last Friday and took a selfie and did a dance, or just walking along with their dogs, thank you so much. It meant the absolute world. Oh, I bet. Well, I'm still going to join in anyway. Just, <laughs> I'll blame the clocks changing. But like, oh, yeah, it's got, it's got the wrong week. That's why. <laughs> I shall look forward to seeing the photos. <laughs> the thing is, I've got so many good hats as well I could choose from. Oh, I mean, I've, I think I've got a rainbow squid hat somewhere in the oh, lot. well then no excuse then <laughs> <laughs> so i mean when it comes to challenges then, so i mean any anything else in the pipeline are you, are you working on any more there will definitely be another 12 hour swing dance for sure because the reaction that we got um after that was was brilliant um whether i do the sponsor dancing for the whole 12 hours again or not i'm not <laughs> sure i think that box has possibly been ticked but there will certainly be that event again and again we'd like to encourage everyone to come along and have a go at swing dancing if you've never done it um and all I can say for the rest of it is watch this space dot 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 little smiley face. Oh, <laughs> and I mean, you're just, you are, you're absolutely incredible and just so well dressed as well. You put me to shame today. And with the hat as well, complimenting it. I bet, you know, when you have to sort of try and set a world record for something, you just sort of add more details on. We should do the, the sort of the swingathon of people wearing hats. Because I bet yeah. that, I bet that hasn't been taken I yet. I like the way you think that's going straight into, into the mental filing system of things to do in the future. Yep. The world record of no, most number of people swing dancing while wearing hats. That's I a very niche record. Guarantee that has not been taken. I'm going to search it just in case. Don't do it in the meantime, for no. goodness sake. Oh, and, and it's just incredible. So, I mean, to find out a little bit more, maybe to sort of find out a bit more about the research and, and what the money goes towards, Hannah, then where's, where's the best place to follow the journey? So, if you'd like to go to the Brain Tumor Research website, we have a page dedicated um, to Steve's group, Band Together, and all of the other fundraising groups that are out there because there are quite a few of them across the country, all doing amazing work to raise funds and and awareness and all with their own special reasons for doing so um the statistic again uh, one in three people know someone who has been affected by a, a brain tumor and that's really shocking statistic um given how little it's it's discussed so again i would urge everybody please to to go have a read up um visit the brain tumor research site have a look at bands together um see why we're doing what we're doing um, find out just how wonderful Steve was. Don't take my word for it. Um, <laughs> just go go and read for yourself um, and really take this charity to heart, please, and support them where you can. Oh, Hannah, well, let's send you all the love in the world. It's lovely to catch up again. Can't wait for, for the next challenge. <laughs> but honestly, I'm, I'm, again, so grateful for the support you're getting as well because I know it must get tough at times, but really appreciate it. Hannah Colby. The sound. The sound of, the sound of Norfolk. And I